what advantages do small business owners have today that they didn't have, say, five years ago or 10 years ago? Well, it comes back to these access to technology pieces, access to capital, and access to consumers. So, in fact, it's easier to start a small business today than it has been at any point in history. You can, in fact, do it in less than 48 hours for even under $100. You have so many tools and technologies that allow you to plug and play, mix and match, and create your way to success. So whether you want to throw up a website, whether you want to have search engine optimized content online, whether you want to find customers or adapt to trends that are rising on social media, you have the tools to do that now and react faster than ever and in real time. And by the way, they also give you the capability to streamline operations, to have just-in-time order fulfillment, to manage your inventory much more effectively. Really the opportunity that we have if we make a point to embrace technology and change is that all the tools are there, they're easier to access than ever. And by the way, they're much more accessible in terms of usability. So I think a lot of people get the sense that technology once upon a time was expensive, mm -hmm. costly, tough to embrace, tough to master. Actually, it's so, more simpler than ever to get your head around. So the tools are there to get you up and running or to streamline your business. The tools are there to take advantage of, but how do you find them? How do you know which ones you need? And do you need a consultant to, to guide you to where the right technology is? Well, a uh, consultant can certainly help you, but most of it is available online with a quick search. You have sites like CNBC.com that can help steer you to some of these best tools and solutions. And by the way, even your website provider, if you're working with like GoDaddy, Wix, Squarespace, or others, mm -hmm. may have built-in tools and technologies. We're seeing a number of financial services providers like American Express, MasterCard, and Visa that are all providing you with access to these tools. But on top of that, you got to keep in mind, there are over 70,000 AI startups at this point. So for an example, artificial intelligence technology maybe seems like it's hard to get your head around, but so many providers offer it. You can find it online with a quick search. Yeah. And by the way, a lot of these tools are free to utilize, which can get you up and running in minutes. And like I was saying, they're so simple to utilize that you're just conversing with them. You don't necessarily have to pick the right solution, by the way, right off the bat. A lot of companies tend to overinvest in one technology or one feature set. Really, you want something that's much more flexible and adaptable that you can easily modify. The good news being, though, that as a business owner, once you've embraced a certain set of technology, you usually have about 70% of the skills and learnings that you need to make the jump to other new technologies so, or other new strategies. 